Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral yes. Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting to get. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're of course I am. We're locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. <laughs> Of course, I can't wait. There's going to be a lot of stuff for me to deal with. Hold on. Am I in the right spot? Yeah, I am. Right here. Armstrong. And we're going to do this one. So it seems like we're going to survey a couple of planets before I actually find one that has legit missions. Light metal surveyed. Scans from orbit have detected a deposit of cobalt. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Junther. Matriox writings recovered. Scans revealed a wrecked freighter orbiting one of Junther's smaller moons. A recon team found no signs of life, but they did recover one of Matriarch Dillinga's writings. Nothing here. We're minding our business. Up, oh, we're landing. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me and hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Is that the sun? Not gonna lie, that's pretty beautiful, but... Wow, that planet is amazing to look at. So... According to this map here, there are three different interesting points that we are going to be discovering. One of them is some sort of debris. But first, let's just... Let's just reflect on the fact that we've lost two people for the past couple of episodes. Like, as a captain, it is my job and my duty to make sure everyone goes into these missions and comes out safe and secure and yet i had one team member get killed because he was being defiant aggressive and he was planning on exterminating me and then unfortunately within the same planet within the same mission another team member ends up being killed because well it was at the line of duty. He was willing to sacrifice himself. And I just, it's sad, really. I just don't like that. I don't want to lose any more people. I really don't. I'm just sick of just losing people already, you know? It's not right. Oh, sorry. All right, so I have Ashley here and Liara. I figured why not just have Ashley around. Electronic skill too low? You mean to tell me I got over here for nothing? For nothing. I am so sad. I hate wasting my time. You know what? Since you want to be like that, I don't even need electronics. How about that? I'm just going to go to this other area here. 
this place is so beautiful yet scary. And to think that there's a possibility that within a thousand years, people are going to be doing the same thing I'm doing right now in real life. Too bad I won't live long enough to see it. Or maybe. It depends. It depends. Do I want to live that long, though? Probably not, because that means I would have to actually pay off my student loans. And I'm not really in the mood for that. Why did I do that? Come on. Come on. I know this car has some good traction. Come on. You can climb up the mountain, man. Where am I going, anyways? Like, what is this? There has to be... Okay, so there's something... Hopefully... Behind this mountain. Because there's no way I'm gonna... Drive up this big old hill. Actually, this one looks promising. This side right here. I see a little slant. So it should be... Drivable. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Okay, so clearly... It's up here somewhere, so... You know what? Maybe if I take on this road right here, right? Uh-huh. Perfect! Yes! Okay, okay, we got it, we got it, okay. So seriously though, what is this? What is that? It's up there. Oh, snap. Oh! Are we stuck? Okay, I'm glad... I'm glad I have that, because that is so off. Why did I do that to myself? Why did I do that to myself? Like, cut it out. Stop being a bot. Okay. Come on. Perfect. Nice. Wow, that, that extra maneuver was rough, you know? So rough. Is it really up there, though? Because that's just so stupid. Why am I climbing a little mountain? This car doesn't even have good traction. Can I even climb here? Yo, it would be so funny if I could. No, I can't. Oh, this is so corny. Okay. Chill. Chill. How, how do you guys feel about watching me struggle to drive this? I know you're feeling some type of way. I know you're like, listen, where is the character development? Well, the car. The car is the one that has character development in this case. Okay, we're almost here. And wow. I am so flabbergasted at the fact that there was an easier way of getting to this area. And I took the most difficult way of doing so. Stupid. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Ugh, oh, we did it. Okay. We got this. What is that noise? Got it. What is that noise? Do I feel safe being in here? Enter bird building. Let's go. Ladies. It's too quiet in here. You know what that means. Let me make sure my gun is good. Is that a plant? Is this weed? No, it's not. It's just a regular basic ass office plant. Decryption skill too low? Screw you, I don't need you. Wait, hold on. Decryption skill too low. Oh, this is not good. It's it's not really giving me any confidence here. Can I open this door? We're clearly underground, but where are we heading to? I have a good feeling we walked into some. Ah! What? Oh no! It's a stupid science experiment we walked into. This is not it. I'm not gonna lie. These guys look really scary. I'm not really into this.
Come on, big boy, stop running away! Okay, so clearly... Perimeter clear. The Get has been using any and every location they can find for their weird experiments. I think everything's dead, though. Ready. Okay. Ready. Good. I'm glad you guys are ready, because I'm not. Is that it? Wait, there's more over here. So we're basically killing all the science experiment, huh? I'm down for it. Another door there, and another door there. Let's do this door. Hello? Ah! That scared me, I'm not gonna lie. My Ew! Is that their blood? Why are you shooting that thing? Dude, those are goods and services that we can get- Oh, you're shooting this, okay. Nice. Oh, and the other place- The other side of the area were impatient, so they decided to open up the doors just so they can run to their depths. That's awesome. I love it. Nothing here, though, huh? Yay! New stuff. Yeah, I, at this point, I feel like this is gonna be a... What the? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Why are you punching me, bro? See, this is why you got folded. Don't ever do that. This is why Liara is on my team, because I just love the way she grabs our enemies and throws them in midair. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a filler episode, but you know what? Sometimes with great series comes filler episodes, and I love it. Gives us time to just relax, reflect, chill for a bit. And also, what's wrong with doing day-to-day -day stuff? Is this their beds for real? Ugh. I would never want to be in this bed. We're done here, huh? Up, oh, someone's here. What's good? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is a horrible gun. Come here. Folded like an omelet. Who, who else is here? I got you. Move, Ashley. Perfect. Ooh. Ooh, there's more. What is that? Excuse me. Yeah, you suck. You suck. Ugly. Ugly ass. Huh? There's another one. Say less. Come here. How are you gonna shoot and miss, bro? That's how you do it. Ooh, what's this? Clear. Damn, Ashley. Thank you for letting us know, like, as if we didn't. Another door? Yeah, no, we went through here. So, we cleaned out everyone here. No reason to stay, so... That's a little bit anticlimactic. Alright. Oh no. Look at the ship. More action. Come here! Come here! Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's why you got folded like an omelet. That's why you got folded. Next. You too! Next. Perfect. Oh, this is nice. Come on! Come Stop hiding! You know you can't shoot. Thank you. Come on, come on. Thank you. Next. You two suck. You suck. You two. Look at that. This is exactly how you kick some alien booty. Three more outposts to go. The first step in a long journey. 
so this is the outpost that we had to get in, huh? Great. What is that? No, seriously, what is that? Huh. Can I get out? Thank you. What is that? Polonium deposit? I'm hacking a mineral? What? And I failed? No! I'm a good hacker. Don't play with me. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Rare element surveyed. You have successfully surveyed a small deposit of polonium. Wow. I mean, I don't mind doing day-to-day -day stuff, but this is very anticlimactic. Even though we just killed how many geckos? Uh oh. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh no! Oh! 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 Oh, the drive! Oh! Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Come on. Securing point. Ah, okay, so what's this? Crashed escape pod. I hope I don't find a dead body, because I'm going to cry if I do. Medallion recovered. This downed pod contained a League of One medallion. Its owner is nowhere to be found. And let's keep it that way. Let's go. We're done with this. Let's go home. Yes. We found another area to land. I assume it could be another landing post that we have to, like, genocide the whole place because of the geckos. Ooh, it's a little bit... It's a little bit snowy here. Huh. Okay. So, we got three spots that we definitely need to head to. One of them is actually pretty close to where we're landing, so... Hopefully... It's something interesting that we're able to hack for once. I just hate wasting my time on things that I'm not able to actually interact with, but, you know. I guess that's the nature of the game, being able to just be curious. <laughs> no! I'm not curious anymore! Oh my goodness, this is horrible! The horrendousness. Oh, you stupid worm. You know what? Can we leave? No, I'm not going to return, but... Ugh. Okay. It's parked. Ugh, okay. Is it now even? I hate you. What about now? Oh, I hate you. I so hate you, because the terrain's not even. Okay, what about now? Okay, cool. I hate that. What is this? A Perithian ruin? Oh, this is about to get very explorative. 
Perithium data disk recovered. Searching the ruins, you discover a Perithium data disk. It must have been dropped by one of the Thresher Mall's many victims. That is so sad. I'm not gonna lie. But clearly we have some bigger fish to fry. And that is that nasty little sandworm. I'm ready to just drop his ass. Where he at? I'm not afraid. Where you at? Yeah! Okay. Woo! Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Come on. Repair, please. Please repair. Okay. Good. My car is good. Oh no. Stupid thing. Stupid, nasty bug. Come on, Thrusher. You're not gonna. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine. I've overdone it. I've overdone it. You know, I should have never said that this was boring. Now look at me. A couple minutes later, I'm dealing with another nasty bug. Another nasty bug. I wonder how much I'm getting paid to do this. Like, what's my salary? What's my hourly rate to deal with monsters that could possibly kill us? And we're just driving on by, acting like we're not about to die. Ooh! Leave me alone! Stop! You see, I can't. The pressure is getting worse. Come on! Come on! Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you about to die? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, come on. Oh, snap, this is horrible. That worm is really up on our tails. Come on! Ooh, are you not dead? Come on! Die already! Okay, so it left us alone? Are we safe now? That is one nasty. Oh no. You guys, look at the dead bodies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And three of them look like they were barbecue ribbed on a grill because they're so burnt out. Oh, wow, this is horrible. I mean, I was really accurate with my description, but... Rest in peace. Seriously, this is so horrible. I hate how they died like that. Discovery. The vehicle and the human corpses show the telltale signs of Geth weapons fire. The Geth have been mangled by the Thresher Mall. At least they got what was coming to them. I don't know how I feel about that, though. I really don't. And then there's something else over here, right? No? Nothing here. I've been hoodwinked. Cool. You guys, this is another gravestone right here. A grave site. Let's just leave. I'm not really... I don't even want to be here. So much killing. So much loss of life. Is it ever worth it? Look at me being so philosophical while I play this sci-fi horror game. Because it, it really is a horror game if you think about it. Those tentacles trying to whip you back and forth. Trying to grab you. And look at this. We're in the middle of a snowy, deserted Desmond planet with the ability to not be able to sustain life the ability to just be a decimal cold wintry grain for the unfortunate souls that end up losing their lives here 
Dude, I could be a really good documentarist with my commentary. Like, let me know in the comments below if you would watch a documentary with my voiceover, because huh, I'm so good at this. Why is my signal jammed? Crashed probe. Electronic skill too low? You know what? I don't even need that. Y'all corny for that. In fact, I don't even need to... I don't even need it. Clearly... Clearly... This game feels like... I don't necessarily need it. So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother. Okay! Oh! Oh! Okay. This is why the car insurance is high. I get it. My bad. Whatever. Dude, I got out of the area. Why is my signal still jammed up? I don't understand. Okay. So, we definitely were going in the wrong direction. So, it's right over here somewhere. Question is how... Wait a minute. Maybe that's why the signal was jammed. Because... The last destination we're going to is the one that's jamming our signal. Man, I hate when they do that. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, this is bad. Excuse me. Rude. How disgusting. Look at this. I'm about to run them over. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. You definitely want to stop us. That's cool. That's fine. By the end of the day, though, you can't stop us. You can't. It's it's cause of plot armor. That's why. You suck. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. Oh, more people coming in, of course. Let's go. Come on. Bye. You suck. This is so easy. You guys are so stupid for doing this. We're in a nice, safe, armed vehicle. And you're out and about. We're halfway to driving these synthetic bastards out of the system. Yeah, Ashley, look at you. Let's go. Let's go back. Heavy metal surveyed. While scanning this planet, you detected a large deposit of mercury. Why would I want that? Heavy metal surveyed. While scanning this planet, you found a small deposit of uranium. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't even know what the hell that is. Matriarch's writings recovered. Scans of Mortar revealed debris from a destroyed Azari Frightener. Further scans uncovered a body which was brought on board. Why? Why would we need a dead body on board? This is how we get cursed. I would mind my own business and leave that alone. What if that body has diseases and somehow by us being so nosy on bringing it to the ship, we all get sick? Dr. Chakwas, excuse, yo, I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Dr. Chakwas examined it, but learned nothing about its origins. So dump the thing. Among the Azari's personal effects, however, was one of Matriarch Diling Dilingnaga's writings. Yo, I am butchering names left and right. I am so sorry. Oh, look at that! We got somewhere to be! Let's go! Oh my god, you guys. We are landing on another planet. I'm so excited to waste more time. Oh, wait! This place looks nice! It's not cold or weirdly iced out, but there's flaming rocks coming from the sky. I should have known better. I should have known better than to get excited about being in a normal planet for once. 
let's do one destination. And then hopefully with that destination, it'll give us some closure with this filler episode. But you know what? I don't regret it because I just love spending time with you guys. If I'm able to at least make you laugh, help you to forget about your life's bullshit for 30 minutes, then I know I did my job correctly and I've done it well. Yo, don't tell me it's up on the mountain! Is there a way? No. Why would you put... Oh, yo, this is so stupid. Look at this. I don't, I'm going to be struggling here. Clearly, there's no path. So I'm just driving up the mountain as she comes. I'm just driving up the mountain as she comes. I'm just driving around the mountain. Because I don't know how to get there. I'm just driving up the mountain as I come. Can I even get up here? Can I? Oh, snap. I'm actually able to. Get out for real? Okay, where is it? Where is this thing? Oh my gosh. You know, I don't even like driving in general. I'm just happy I'm not going to live long enough to have to drive these things. Wow, that random spot. You mean to tell me I climbed up this mountain for a random spot? It, it's not even a legit thing. It's just a random spot. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is so horrendous. Seriously? Seriously? What is this? A beacon? We did all this for an artifact. Oh my gosh. Wait, please, let me hack. Please, let me hack. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Perfect. ID tag recovered. Buried under the beacon was an identification tag for Captain Thean. There's no indication of why it was hidden here or who buried it in the first place. Wow. Crazy, am I right? Ready. I know you are. Ready. I know, you know, this is why I love working with these two because they definitely keep me grounded for sure. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.